from the beginning of time, the gods have tested the strength of man with one battle. Ascending from the vaults of heaven, scrawled on the rim of the sky, is the name of said competition, the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. And joining me now in preparation for this big event, the MC of Major League Eating and the MC of the contest, George Shea, and the defending champions, Joey Chestnut and Mickey Sudo. Thank you guys so much for coming in uh, in front of all these amazing hot dogs and in preparation for what is going to be a phenomenal event coming up on Tuesday, all looking forward to it. Uh, and but we, we don't want to ruin your appetite. I hope you don't mind. We're not going to ask you to eat any hot dogs. What we're going to do today is have a little quiz on what each and every one of you know about New York, Coney Island, Major League Eating, the Nathan's Hot Dog Contest. Uh, just raise your hand. I'll call on you, and you can give the answer. There will be multiple choice on these as well, so you don't have to just pull. Unless you know the answer. No, I'm ready. I'm going to Unless you know the answer. Oh. All right. You guys ready? All right. I mean, this one could be as grueling as the actual event itself. I mean, I know you guys are really nervous. Number, number one, first question. What is an actual ingredient in a Nathan's hot dog? Pe Wait, I'm giving you the choices here. Paprika, sodium pentothal, tears of fallen angels. Paprika. Mickey? Paprika. Paprika it is. Yay! There's paprika in these. Can you believe that there's paprika in, in, a, in these Nathan's hot How'd you know it was paprika? I, it sounded good, so I went with it. Okay, guys. <laughs> and apparently, tears of fallen angels are the no tears longer. Of the tears of angels, the salt from the tears of the angels, apparently not an ingredient. Not anymore. Uh, I guess that must be a new thing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. They used to be, though. All right. The 1979 movie, The Warriors. Which gang was from Coney Island? The Warriors, the Gladiators, or the Baseball Furies? Uh, George? Warriors. That is correct, the oh, Warriors. Lucky guess. Baseball, were, were they the ones <laughs> the with baseball the Yankees? Furies? Yes, Yankees? that's right. I, I, yeah, absolutely. Classic. Why, why hasn't there been, Joe, why hasn't there been a movie made of Major League Eating? Probably because, uh, I don't have no idea. <laughs> George, why, why isn't that? We've been, been trying, yet? trying, trying. We haven't found the right person to play Joey. <laughs> that, Will Ferrell hasn't signed on yet. <laughs> oh, see, it would be Will Ferrell, wouldn't it? I could totally see Will Ferrell be. being you. All right, all right, third question. Which condiment has the highest amount of sugar? Oh. Yellow mustard, relish, ketchup. George? Ketchup. Ketchup has the highest amount of sugar. Do you know that yellow mustard has no sugar in it whatsoever? Okay. Yellow mustard's good for you. It is. It is. It, it, just go ahead and splash it on. See, what's the best condiment? What's the condiment that you have to have when you're eating your hot dogs? Not not a competition, but when you're just uh, having mustard. fun. Mustard. Yeah, deli mustard. The, the Nathan's brown mustard. Really good. Okay. A little spice. You like a little spice a little with it, it, it then? A little bit of spice in there, yeah. Okay. There, nothing wrong with that. All right. Number four here. What is the record number of Twinkies consumed in Major League Eating? Joey, you, have, you, you know this one, Joey? What's the number? 121. 121. Because <laughs> it was me. <laughs> because it was set by Joey in 2013. <laughs> Twinkies. Okay, so Twinkies are a great thing to eat. Yeah. That would be amazing. However, have you guys ever entered into a competition where you really had no idea what you were about to eat or you, you hated what you were about to eat? I've done a couple weird ones. Yeah. I, I did cow brain tacos. Cow brain it, tacos? Apparently it's... Uh, How specific is that? It, it say so. It, it's a Mexican taco. They, they make them in Mexico, but uh, it was for a zombie pub crawl. Okay. And it, they, they cooked them up. They tasted all right, but they, they were veiny, and I had, to, <laughs> I had to eat with my eyes closed is the entire mushy? time. Does it taste like yeah, liver? They're kind, they, they kind of mushy and a little, bit, a little metallic taste. Nice. That's nice. <laughs> are we going to be adding that to the major league eating competition yeah. anytime time soon? You know, I was there when Mickey, and, and Joey was there as well, pouring rain. We were in Kentucky, <laughs> and... We did a hard-boiled egg eating championship. <laughs> like a cool hand Luke moment? Yes. Eight minutes. Mickey consumed 104 hard-boiled eggs in eight what? minutes to be beaten only by Joey That's at 144. Okay. It, that was a magnificent moment. I don't know if they like eggs, but it was magnificent. It was, it was so bad, like, like the sulfur was coming out of my, out of my pores. Like, whenever I moved, I could smell this thing. <laughs> How is that I mean, seriously, hard-boiled eggs. I mean, to be able to throw those down your gullet, do you, do you chew those? Do you, do you just I, pop I them in? I chew, and they, they just kept sliding down. They, they kept, you find a rhythm, and uh, your, your body works for you. That must have been a lot of adrenaline that took over because I don't think I could recreate it that was moment. Storming, I, mean, I thought it was there was going to be a rain. It was a torrential it, downfall. George, George, line that it almost made me barf during the contest. It was so funny. <laughs> He's like, "It looks like Joey Chestnut's shirt is soaked. It's like a wet T-shirt contest gone terribly bad." <laughs> I feel like that's what I feel like every time I watch you guys. I mean, it looks like it really is a uh, a challenge. All right, uh, let's see. I've got a couple more here. All right, 
Which former NFL player competed in the competition in 2003? Joey? William Refrigerator Perry. Absolutely correct. I had it. You, was on you, the tip of my tongue. I didn't. Bonus points for how many number of dogs he finished. Anybody? George? Four. That is correct. Four was, hot dogs. It was a disgrace. In 12 minutes. Disgrace. How did he make it to the finals with four hot dogs? The fridge uh, did not look good out there that day. Uh, which athlete do you think would make that best transition, by the way, guys? We've had marathoners on the show. Yes, sir. Salem was a marathoner, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so marathoner, he, a marathoner makes the transition. Well, he seemed to think, what, what other athletes make a good transition to this? I think a Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady's got to put aside the healthy eating right. and just dive into this hardcore. We saw him do a sumo wrestling recently. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to have him out here. But, you know, the, the answer, you, you raised the point. The big guy, the guy you think would be good at it, is usually not good at it. So the slender person is, is quite often better. Why is that? Mickey, you're so tiny. How, why is that? How is that possible? I actually work incredibly hard to increase my cardio in preparation for the 4th of July. I just find that I can eat more. My, my energy level stays high for an extended amount of time. So I'm just more energetic and I have more stamina. I don't know. I don't know what the secret is, but it works. <laughs> How long do you think it would take Tom Brady to get to the level of being able to even compete in the championship? That's not going to happen. Oh, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, he could probably win a qualifier with like 25. He could. Yeah, I can see him. I can see him getting up there. In 10 minutes. Amazing. 10 minutes. That's doable. All right. Uh, next question. By the way, do we know what the score is right now? I think we've got 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. All right. Uh, what is the annual average number of hot dogs an American consumes? 35, 70, or 95? Mickey? 70. 70 is correct. A oh, big no. winner right there. Very, Which, by the way, that means that, Joey, you, you consume more hot dogs in 10 minutes than, than most Americans <laughs> in the full year. That's impressive. I'm impressed. Wow, a lot of people eat hot dogs. Yeah, 70 hot dogs. That's big. That's a lot. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of dogs out there. What is the recovery time for you guys after you down that many hot dogs? It's uh, It takes... Like, the next day, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a little bit lethargic. Uh -huh. But uh, it takes a good two days to feel, like, w really normal. And then about four days to be, be back to my normal weight. Yeah? Just takes a couple of days to, to even eat a normal meal, Mickey. There's, there's nothing. You just have to wait it out. There's really no you way wait to wait it out. No, right. so for me, there's no way to speed up. or. You, yeah, you, have, to, you have to remember. So we're going out there. going to get a beautiful day this year. It seems. Yes. But it's very hot. A lot of tension. They get they get introduced. They're waiting. A lot of pressure. I think that comes into play. But you know, you have to understand. Thirty five thousand people there. We're having a big festival. Coney Island Brewery is going to be out there. A lot of pressure on these two. The big competition is coming up on Tuesday, the fourth of July at noon at Coney Island. It is so fun to get out there and just to be a part of that, to experience the emceeing of this, which, by the way, just adds so many extra layers to it. Uh, I encourage everyone to get out there and be a part of it because that's the only way to really watch the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Competition. Joey Chestnut, Mickey Sudo, George Shea, thank you guys so much for coming in. Very much appreciated. Great to be on with you guys. Yeah. Right. Stick around. We'll be right back.